let's see how we can use the make object node in order to let PF track use the camera's animation and translate it into the point cloud. Now there are going to be a couple of options here in which we're going to take this camera solver and this camera solver and we're going to try to combine them. And the reason to combine them is to make sure that we get the benefits of this camera and this camera. So what we need to do first is actually to make sure that we have the proper oriented scene both for here and here. And at this point I can select a 3D tracker in order to have it as my scene origin. So I can select a tracker that is either in the corner or in the center of let's say this box's face. So now I have the scene all oriented and I can repeat this process with this workflow. So right click on the second camera solver, orient scene, and now I can go back into the axes and repeat the process that I did with the first orient scene node. So at this point I have both the scenes oriented and I see that the workflow here is much more accurate than the workflow I have over there. So most likely the result, the final result that we're going to export to Maya from this workflow is going to be more accurate and more desirable to work with than this workflow. But in any case, we're going to make sure that we're working with both workflows and we're going to solve them properly and export them as well. So after the orient scene, right click and select the make object and you'll notice that the make object has two inputs. We're going to take the camera and the animation into the right input and then we're going to pipe down the edit camera to the left input. Let's see what happens within the 3D space. I have the camera being idle within the 3D space but the one thing that moves are the tracks themselves. Let's see what kind of result we can get from the make object for the other workflow. So I'm going to zoom out a bit and after this workflow's orient scene, I'm going to right click and say give me the make object node. I'm going to repipe this node into the proper nodes and we see here that the solution is really similar to what we had before but the object here seems to be more far off due to the orient scene. So now we can export two different Maya files from this workflow and this workflow. If I I move these make objects to the sides and I call the merge camera nodes and just disconnect it from over here then I can try to merge the information from this camera in this camera and now we can right click again and ask for the orient scene and we'll try to orient the scene based on the merged result. Now the Y is sitting perfectly as well as the Z axis and the X axis. So let's right click and click on make object again. Let's move the orient scene output into this input and now I'm going to take the edit camera with the 50 millimeter and pipe it down into the left input of this make object node. So now we see that we have an animated object that is in the right orientation to the box that we see in the footage. So I'm going to select the orientation mode under this make object and I'm going to select the distance from camera and I'm going to make it closer to the camera itself. We're almost done with our PF track workflow. We need to go through the last step and that would be to export the different Maya files. If you are working with the PLE version of PFTrack, then you'll be able to download the exported Maya files in the link below.